So we're back over here at Kyle's this morning, just me and James. Kyle is at work today, and we're going to, well, James is trying to get that, that latch out of the door, and then we're gonna start hanging the parts on the truck, the fender and radiator, well, we're not doing the radiator support. Hanging the door, we're gonna get that front fender and get the hood on today. Then we need to do some cleaning on this girl and uh, hopefully tomorrow we're gonna get some primer on this. We're cutting time a little short here, it's Thursday. I was supposed to be flying out on Saturday. We have some work to do. Huh? Right? What? What'd you say? I said I'm supposed to be flying out on Saturday and it's yeah. Thursday. So um, I've already had my negative talk about this truck ain't gonna it's not gonna get painted by Saturday. There's no way. I don't think it can be done now. But I'm still working on it. I, We'll see what happens here, guys. I don't know. Alright, so that didn't take much. James and I got this door hung. Not 100% sure it's in the right place. But it's better than a jack, huh? It's a hell of a lot better than using a jack. This went you a lot like faster. You like your sidekick, cousin? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it may still need a little bit of... Blah. It may still need a little bit of adjustment. We're going to bring the fender in, set it up here, see how everything lines up. Door looks pretty good. I think it may need to be brought out just a smidge. But we'll see after we get the fender on here. So we have the door and the fender hung on here. Looking pretty good. I don't think it needs much adjustment. I went and looked at the other side and it looks just like that up on the top. And this side was wrecked. So I didn't get, it got hit hard, but the bumper took the grunt and the core support took the grunt. Where the, where the fender mount, there's a, there's a bolt that goes in back behind here. And where it mounts onto there, it was, we had to take the hammer and tap it back. Yeah, it was tweaked a little bit, but really not too bad and a heck of a lot easier with two people, I can tell you that so, much. So, we're ahead of schedule today with our time. Yeah. Lunchtime. Yeah, no. <laughs> not lunchtime yet. <laughs> so we need to get the, this piece back on. We're going to fire up the air compressor after we get off the camera here and blow all that crap that direction. Yeah, it's pretty dirty up in there. And blow all that crap out and then we're going to hit this and then we're going to put yeah. the hood on. We're not putting the core support in, guys, when we're painting. It's staying out of the truck because we don't need it on the truck to paint it. Because we're going to paint well, the rock, no, but the we rock guard is going to be painted off, off the side. And we don't have the, the bushings that it sits on. Bushings are loud, yeah, so it'll be something we put back on the truck later. As long as we have our body lines matched up and the hood can close and those line up, we're golden. So. And I think we're going to take all these windshield I'll clips, pull them out easier to tape these are really super cheap um, probably can reuse these whatever Kyle wants to do but it's gonna make taping a whole lot easier so that's what we're up against all right guys so James he had to go out to his truck and get something really I don't know if we're gonna get this I don't think we're gonna get this painted by Saturday that leaves us well that leaves us today and tomorrow to get primer on this base and clear I I don't think we can make it happen before I don't think it's gonna happen before Saturday we'll keep chugging away though yeah. so we've got James is doing his channel over there but we're got the door on fender on we got the hood on got the, got the cowl it's not not real solidly on yet I think Kyle's gonna adjust that a little more when he gets home he knows where all the screws and stuff are Hinges aren't on. The hood is basically sitting on here. Core support is not going on. So it's not going to be 100% perfect, but it's paintable. And James and I, uh, we've been sanding. Looks like we need to sand some more right in there. But sanding on the top and the doors and around the windows and that kind of thing. This has, I think it has a couple chips in it something it needs to be sanded down again it's got overspray on it and what else I need to get the bed off of this thing she needs cleaned up get all the dusty dust out of it and we're not painting the inside of the bed because Kyle is going to bed line it I'm gonna blow some paint across this back well front of the box this section right here 
I am going to paint that. It's not going to look perfect. It's it's rather rough, but we're not going to fix it all up because he's going to put bed liner on it. So we're getting there. Having doubts if we're going to get this done by. Well, really, it needs to get done tomorrow. Tomorrow. Primer. Primer and paint can't go on the same day, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm over it. I don't know what. All right, guys. We're gonna call it a day on the truck here. We got uh, pretty much, pretty much all sanded that we can sand. If I can get around here, James has been back here working once again on this this back corner. He found a couple imperfections in there. Thinks he has it pretty well, pretty well in place. But uh, doesn't really matter because we're not gonna have color on this thing. Yeah. Well, eventually. The plan is we're going to come over here in the morning and we're going to spray primer on the truck but need to let it set for 24 hours which takes us into saturday we don't really have to let it set 24 hours it says on the can you can wait three hours but got a lot of money into this thing so far to have your paint job go bad so it doesn't look like we're going to make our deadline guys and, um, eat dinner have a have a beer sit down and talk about maybe John will give me some pointers maybe I'll try shooting it next week take a week off reset next weekend like not this coming weekend but next weekend maybe paint it try to take a whack out of myself maybe try to hire it done just have somebody that knows what they're doing come over and maybe give them a couple hundred bucks just to shoot it uh, I've never done it this would be my first truck and I don't want this to be my first paint it's it's so frustrating because we're so close but yet we're so far because we could rush it we could tomorrow throw a primer on wait three hours and then try to paint it your plan i mean we could try painting it saturday morning but you got to catch your flight that's not going to work yeah so i don't wait i don't three hours i don't think is the answer we, the the right answer is to just let the paint set for 24 hours if not longer Anyway, guys, we're going to bug out of here, and I'm, uh, I'm so fr I'm so freaking frustrated. We're, I'm just ah. yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna go have a beer and talk about things and see if we can figure something out. So anyway, guys, probably do an update video. This will be out tomorrow on Friday. Probably do an update video Friday night and uh, keep y'all updated on what's going on. Right now, though, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like we're going to get the basin clear on this before I go so and so if you want to see it get basin clear on it you're probably gonna to have to subscribe to this guy at Central Oregon shenanigans I'll link I'll link his and Kyle's channel down below and we'll see what they can uh, see what they can do with this sorry guys we gave it a good shot here two weeks we we're just cut it just cut it a little bit too close and as far as the weather goes today here in Central Oregon, I think we might get some thunder showers rolling through. We just heard some thunder off that direction, which is what southeast. That would be. Um, I, I think. don't know. I don't know I don't what know. direction. I'm all that turned is. around I'm turned here. Turned around out here too. But supposed to get some thunder, thunder shower storms today. Other than that, pretty nice, pretty pretty comfy out today. No wind. Yeah, no wind, and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be 90, but I don't think we're going to get there not with rain showers all day and then slowly start cooling down i think be a good weekend for painting but uh but i don't think that's going to happen at least not by me so anyway guys i'm going to put an ending on this and we will catch you we'll catch you in the next one which might be the last one while i'm out here need a few more days yep just a few more days two weeks was a lot I, I, we got I, a lot I, done in two weeks. We got a lot done in two weeks. I mean, you got to look at the glass half full and not half empty. Yeah. So. She's right, right there. We can get it primered. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. So anyway, give this video a thumbs up, I guess. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll update you here on what's going on. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.